Hey guys, I mean, today's video is a little bit more serious than usual. If you haven't seen the title already, it is about one of my conditions that I have in life. And if you haven't guessed what I've titled, it's IBD! Now, <laughs> IBD stands for Inflammatory Bowel Disease. It is not a fun disease at all, but I am coping with it to some extent. But I'm getting through with it. It's an, it's an annoying disease. An annoying condition, but yeah, as I said, I'm I'm getting through it. So today actually marks the one year anniversary of my diagnosis with IBD. So I was just like, okay, so this disease, this condition, is a major thing in my life, and it affects what I do. So I was just like, okay, if this is gonna affect my YouTube career say career it's not really a career uh if it affects my youtube then you guys probably should know about it just you know, even just a little bit so here i am discussing ibd with you <laughs> just just to ex explain a little bit about what ibd is just so that you guys are in the loop a little bit because as you have probably well you might have noticed i haven't actually done like live streaming for a really long time it's because of my IBD. That's why. So, yeah, it's great fun. So, as I said, I was diagnosed on this day last year, uh, 2020, 26th of March. I remember that vividly because it was my, it, well, it is my dad's birthday. Happy birthday, dad, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I was diagnosed on my dad's birthday. It was a great day. Um, my dad had to stay in the car for like three hours on his birthday while I was getting this diagnosis. <laughs> I apologize, Dad, for ruining your birthday that year. Crohn's comes in two forms. It comes as either colitis or Crohn's. I was lucky. I say lucky. I was lucky and got the lesser of two evils. I got colitis. Um, so... Before I start explaining anything, I just want to say I'm s even though I've been diagnosed for a year, I'm still relatively new to it all. Like I still can't get my head around the f this diagnosis. So it's if I say anything that's incorrect, I apologize. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not one hundred percent in my understanding of what colitis uh, and Crohn's is. But yeah, if I am wrong, I apologize. That's all I can say, really. My understanding of what the difference between Crohn's and colitis is that Crohn's is the full di uh, digestive system, while Crohn, uh, while colitis is just the bowels. Uh, again, if I'm wrong, please just I apologize. <laughs> But yeah, it that's what I got. It's it's pretty much where the immune system attacks the body. It's it's not fun, like any disease. Disease, like no disease is fun. But that's what I've got going on. So with IBD, it's something that I have to center my entire life around, like. I cannot do anything within the day without having to think about uh, IBD, without having to put IBD into consideration. Um, it affects what I eat, it affects what I do, where I go. It's, it's, yeah, it, <laughs> it's not fun, like, Everything I have to do, I center around my I, my diagnosis. And, uh, yeah. So, let me just tell you my story with IBD, with my diagnosis. So, so it all started around my birthday in 2019. So, around June time. Um, that was when my symptoms started showing. And I can definitely say, symptoms for IBD ain't pretty. <laughs> It's really not pretty. Like, 
really not. So yeah, that was when my symptoms really started showing. I did let it go on for a little bit too long, but who wants to be diagnosed? Who who wants to be diagnosed with something? Because I, I really don't. I've already got two diagnoses uh, for mental problems, for mental disabilities. Uh, I just didn't want another one. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it wasn't fun. I I didn't want this diagnosis, but I needed to get it checked out. So it came around to about March 2020. Well, it was March 2020 when I was just like, I need this sorted. I need to get this checked out. So I phoned my GP and uh, that's when it all started. So I originally thought that this was going to be IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome. Um, it, It's kind of similar, but IBS is a lot less annoying. <laughs> a lot less. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I originally thought it was IBS, but when I was talking to my GP, she was like, hey, are you going to the toilet in the middle of the night? And I was like, yeah, this is great information, by the way, guys, I really apologize for this, but <laughs> this is IBD for you. This is the delight that is IBD. Um... Yeah, I was just like, yeah, I am going to, the, going to the loo in the middle of the night. I was just like, yeah, IBS doesn't do that, but IBD does, and um, that was the the start of my path to getting this diagnosis done. So she got me an appointment to get this endoscopy done at the hospital. If you don't know what an endoscopy is. Again, it's another delight <laughs> in life. Uh, it's where you get a camera put up there, up, up your bum. Right, it was a great day. As I said, it was my dad's birthday. Uh, so, that, that was, it, it was great fun. The day that I had the appointment with my GP was like two days before my dad's birthday. And then she was like, yeah, I'm gonna organize this appointment to get an endoscopy on your dad's birthday. She's like, no! <laughs> so like, please, no! Yeah, um, I had to have it done. So, I apologize, dad, again. I, I do, like, I do apologize. So yeah, I had the endoscopy done. Uh, it was great like three hours in the hospital that was great fun um most of that time was just waiting around uh <laughs> that, that was great fun because uh, i'm a very nervous person so ha having to wait for this endoscopy which i didn't really want in the first place waiting around for like two hours waiting for this endoscopy, I was just like, I, I'm dying right now. Like, I do not want to be here. <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was great fun. Um, so yeah, I had the endoscopy done and the, the doctor was just like, yeah, you're really inflamed. Your bowels are really inflamed. And uh, he diagnosed me with IBD or colitis. Uh, he di he diagnosed me with colitis because there was no clear indication that it was Crohn's. So, I got colitis. Uh, I should probably say I'm thankful for that, that I've got colitis and not Crohn's. But again, if I'm wrong, if if Crohn's is better than colitis, I, poli I apologize. <laughs> it's, it just sounds like Crohn's is worse. That's all I'm going by here. Okay, like if, if I'm wrong, I apologize. Uh, so yeah, that is my my story with IBD and how it came to be in my life, the joy that it is. So with IBD, it, as I said before, it 
affects pretty much my day-to-day -day life. Uh, everything has to be centered around it. So that goes for food, where I, uh, where I go, what I do, and it's, it's not fun. <laughs> but yeah, it affects everything. So also with this, I have to monitor it every single day. So that means keeping a food diary. <laughs> it's great fun. I love doing food diaries. It's so much fun. Uh, <laughs> can you can you sense my enthusiasm? Um, I have to monitor when I go. Uh, I have to monitor my weight as well, which again is is great fun because <laughs> it affects my weight. Because going to the loo a lot means that I can lose weight quite quickly. But you know, I I keep up with it all. I keep up with it. Don't worry. I am I am okay. So with IBD, it does have its mental drawbacks because obviously I have my bad days and I have my good days as well. Like I can't forget I can't forget the good days. Um at the moment it's kind of half and half. I do have my bad days, but I have my good days as well. It it's it's kind of balanced right now. It's kind of balanced. I do have as I said, I do have my, my bad days, which does have a, or can have a big impact on my mental health. Because as I said before, I, the other two conditions I have are mental disabilities and uh, yeah, it can affect them. But because I've had those mental disabilities for so long, I have, I've had them for 10 years, uh, well, about 10 years. Um, I know how to deal with it. I guess that's one thing that comes out of it for having those disabilities, but you, you just gotta figure out how to deal with things in life. Like, yeah, it's not gonna be easy. It, n not everything is gonna be easy, but you learn to deal with it, and that's what I've done. Like, I've gone through so much in my life. I won't get into that stuff yet. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if once you have dealt with this stuff before, you know how to deal with it again. So that's kind of my story with that. Like, I know how to, to fight it. You do not have to worry about that, guys. Like. Yes, I have my bad days, but I, I know how to deal with it. Like, yeah, I may not feel like doing anything that day, but, you know, I get through. I get through the day. <laughs> but yeah, that is, uh, that, that's pretty much my story with IBD. And um, unfortunately, with IBD is something that I've got to live with. Because, uh, unfortunately, with IBD, there is no s solid cure. Not yet, anyway. I say not yet. I have hope. I have hope, guys. Do not worry. <laughs> I have hope that there's going to be a cure one day. Whether it's in my life or not is another question. But I have hope that there's going to be a cure. Yeah, there's medication to reduce the symptoms of IBD like I have anti-inflammatories and stuff to help me through the day but as I said there is no solid cure to properly getting rid of IBD because it is an auto I'm assuming it's an autoimmune disease and uh, the immune system's a bit of a pain uh, sometimes and it's a little bit hard to cure. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's not fun, but I'm getting through it. I, I do have an IBD doctor. I have an IBD nurse. I've had dietitians before. So as I said, it affects my eating. Uh, but yeah, they are awesome people. Like, this is going to be my well done NHS shtick. Like, 
Thank you, NHS. You are amazing. I bow down to you. <laughs> like, the NHS is absolutely amazing. Like, they are awesome people. And I just want to say thank you to the Ontrology, or is it Gastroenterology? I don't know. I just want to say thank you to those guys because they are so helpful and they've helped me through it so far. And it's just, thank you. Like, you guys are amazing. <laughs> just, sorry, I just had to get my thank you to the NHS, the awesome NHS out the way. Like, <laughs> you guys are absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's, that's my story with IBD. If you want to know more about it, please let me know. Like, I'm very open about my conditions that I have because I want to help people get through it. Like, I have had a really bad experience, or a few really bad experiences throughout my life. I'm not going to get into it right now. Like, it's... that's for the future, maybe. Maybe, if you guys want to know about it. Um... But I want to help people through things, or get through what they want to do, or get through hard times. That's what I was going to say. Because um, life isn't easy. Like, life sucks sometimes. And yeah, I just want to help people. So if you want to know my story a little bit more in depth, I'm open to it. Like, I've told most of it with my IBD. Um, I've told most of my IBD story now. But if you want to know more, I'm open to it. If you want to know about my mental conditions, I, again, very open about it. Because they suck. <laughs> like, really bad. So yeah, that's my story. I don't expect you guys to have enjoyed today's video. It's not... It wasn't a fun video. So... I'm not going to say, hey, drop that like button. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to say, yeah, I have these conditions. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to leave today, guys. As I said, I don't expect you to like this video, but I mean, <laughs> you know. So yeah, all I'm going to say is I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. We're moving through the night like we're from a different star. Flying over streets and our broken hearts. But they can't even touch us, we found a different beat.